<laughs> yeah, I was getting all excited. <laughs> Thought of the strike marlin. <laughs> not a bad, not a bad sort of dolphin fish. I just dropped him, did I? <laughs> Still there. Ah. <laughs> Little Dolly. Little Dolly. Got me all excited then. Well, I mean the spring's definitely here. Summer's on its way. When you're starting to hook these fellas. <laughs> Good stuff. They are a beautiful fish, look at that. There you go. Not a bad size, not actually. All right. Female. Very early in the season, but like I said, always welcome these fish. Absolutely always. Ow, ow, ow. Just absolute horrible things hold on to. Mahi, mahi. Beautiful. 
Not the strike bar I was hoping for, but a very good sign in terms of water temperature and stuff like that. Beautiful. It's gonna be a tangle for real. <laughs> Get a leaf back on the mono. Oh, there we go. Oh, the V. Oh, look at the sour he's going. It's in there, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> that is bedlam, hey! <laughs> oh. And I've got <laughs> still got all rods out, hey! This guy had me down at the backing on 24. Just got me lying on there, my mono. It's gonna be a nightmare when he gets in here. I've got to get back on or something here. Everything is just mint, so you pull it up. There's that for an opening run, huh? <laughs> oh, this is immense. Nice. This one knows what to do, right?
Fish. Proper fish, eh? <laughs> Stacey's again. Fiddling with the steering, trying to keep him as close to the center front as we can. And then coming back, getting a few wines on him. Sorts here with this fella. Back end's coming up again. What have I hooked, eh? Just about to show me my back end again. Right 
top straight out of the, directly in front. I've just got the boat adjusting here. Never like doing that when I'm on my own with a big fish, but that's why I'm not getting up on the cast deck here, it's just too dicey. Nice, yeah. And you go a little bit too hard, not 24. Big strike mail, huh? <laughs> that was a horse. Oh well. Damn close. Hey. Almost had the leader on. <laughs> what a session. What a fish. Try and sort out this mess up the back. But yeah, so that's what he ate. Ate one of these fat boy, fat boy rogue. As well as talking about earlier. Actually you see both those hooks are gone. That's why 15 kilo, even 10 is really that optimum line class for stripies. Alright, sort this mess out. <laughs> Oh. Alright guys, as you hear in the background, that beautiful day that I was trolling the mail in has changed into something else. So I'm going to call it quits. And thank you for watching. That is marlin mayhem for you, hey. <laughs> it's a step too far when you're trying to clear lines. Wind a fish in, chase it down. Uh, bloody good fun though. I didn't take my own advice and I went a little bit hard with those ultra thin gauge hooks which are great for strike marlin by the way because the way they strike and their sort of bill and mouth structure is really the type of hook you want to use. My mistake was I went with 24 kilo, definitely all I had so, uh, and I went too hard on them. So imagine jumping off that without a parachute. I jest, I jest, I jest. But a little bit too hard on him at the end there and those hooks just under too much pressure after an hour and a bit long fight so anyway bloody good fun had a good look at him right there at the end a really good size driving good size driving uh and it's a good sign that they're here already and a mahi mahi this time of year so happy with that great session bloody good fun and we'll see you next one see you next episode bye for now